the weather is good. Yeah. I met somebody. I mean, he told me maybe you take care of your family. Okay. Somebody who told me maybe it's because uh, it was. Officer Surato. What are they saying? That why are you filming? Oh, tell them I'm doing your interview. Very problematic people. I'm telling you, this country is tough. <laughs> and it's not even uh, uh, the police. It's not the police. Yeah, it's just regular people. All right, guys. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Kish, my world. Brand new day. Brand new um, possibilities here in South Sudan. And I am chilling outside here. Out, uh, outside of my hotel. That one there called the uh, Britain Hotel. Yes, the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, possibly, for 35 US dollars, man. Yeah, and I woke up this morning, there was no electricity, so it was hot as hell. And I was woken up because of the heat. It's 40 degrees outside, but you have to wake up like that. And if you think you have Wi-Fi in there, <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say. But anyways, Kish my world. I just decided to come out here and have some breakfast here in Juba, South Sudan. And these kids, what's up? <laughs> They're just staring at me, talking to my camera alone. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a heavy breakfast. I'm gonna have uh, rice and beans and chapati. And uh, I asked the price, it's gonna be 1,700 for rice and beans plus 500 for chapati. So what is that? 2,200. It's quite a heavy breakfast, so let's dig in. And that's gonna push me throughout the day, I think. Yes, so that's the beans over there. And that is the lovely lady who will be serving me. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, with some nice sauce, that's the way I like it. You put a lot of sauce, eh? A lot of soup. I like soup. Like yeah, I like soup. I like when it's the rice is swimming in the river Nile. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that is good. The chapati is cut inside? Yeah. I okay, okay. No problem. Yes, and that is the breakfast for the day. And it is going to be coming with uh, some greens in it. Yeah, so that is it. And they're playing some Afro Afro music here. So it's good to see South Sudan. They appreciate Afro music like the rest of us. Anyways, I hope I don't get a copyright strike from this one. Anyways, let's enjoy the food as it's coming. I'm super hungry. What's the plan for the day? The plan for the day is I'm going to be meeting Mr. BMG official. And uh, I'm going to be going to this place to have some dinner with him or some food at least with him and his wife. So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, this is it. Wow. What is this? Onion? Onions. Okay. That's how they do it in South Sudan. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Let me enjoy. Okay. Yes, here we go. Wonderful, wonderful throw down with some onions in it, rice and beans, and some greens. Yalla, let's dig in. Kish my world. Ciao, banana, ma. I mean, so what time do you open here? What time do you open this shop? Morning. Morning? At 7? Or oh, six? Yeah, around yeah, no, six. Early, early morning. Yeah. Oh, so you work very hard. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's good. And when do you have the most customer? Hmm? What time do you have the most customers coming? They're always coming. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Oh. And you open every day of the week? Yeah. No off day? Maybe sometimes on Sunday I do off day. Oh, and you go to church? Yeah. 
Oh, you don't go to church? If I'm not going to church, I just be home. Hmm. Ah. Oh. But by this Sunday, I'm here. Then you're back here? No, I'm around here. So you have a family or you're single or you're with some kids? I have it. Family. Your family? Yeah. Okay. How many kids? The most. How many kids? My kids. Kids. Children. Two. Two. Oh. Wow. Two girls. Two girls. Oh. And they live here with you? They live in Juba with you? In Uganda? Oh, why Uganda? I'm the one who likes to take them there. You don't want... Oh, you don't want to them to stay here? <laughs> yeah, let them go and stay in Uganda. <laughs> why Uganda? Which my mom there. Is Uganda is easier? Uganda is easier. It's better? Yeah, it's not like Uganda here. Why is it not good here? South Sudan is not good. It's good, but we stay here with kids. Hmm. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. So even if you prefer Uganda, hmm? even if you prefer Uganda, if you were to live. South Sudan is, but I'm the one like to take them there. Yeah. Okay. And they are allowed to be in Uganda, no problem. Mm. No visa problem. Visa? Visa, yeah. From here? Yeah. They cannot ask you. They cannot ask you. And uh, maybe they'll, later they will be like, uh, why did they stay so long in Uganda? Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys. So I am walking here in the streets of Juba, South Sudan, filming illegally, you know. Yes, my bro. Thank you. Filming illegally. I hope nobody busts my ass, you know. So I'm just gonna take a small stroll, see the area, share what I see with you guys. Yeah, and uh, at any point I might switch off the camera in case of any intimidation, you know. It's a bit tough here, you know. That is it. And I feel walking down the streets of uh, Juba, South Sudan, is very intimidating because there's a lot of military presence everywhere, you know? As you go, there's like military trucks, military personnel, and as I heard, 80% of the population is in the military, so... And even those ones can harass you for filming on the streets. Yeah, but we move. This is Juba, man. The other side. I can hear our police car coming with sirens, but it's coming from my back, so hopefully nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had such a difficult time in any country filming. It was like a police ambulance or some sort of thing. Guys, I don't know if I'm in the wrong part of South Sudan, or this is how South Sudan is, but uh, I'm out and about walking alone, exploring, 
and it's supposed to be Juba, the capital city, but most of the roads are like dirt roads, as you can see. It's not much happening, but uh, let's just go and explore a bit and see how it is. See what we can find. Yeah, in this place. It's the first time I'm gonna try and just go and film randomly, you know, and see how, I'm trying to push my limits and see how much we can achieve and how much we can see how much you can see around here you know let's see how who will stop me and where and when and uh, i can see i'm ending up in a place where there's like some football matches over here there's some people playing football over there so we can go and like film the the games and see how it is just to experience the part yes this is south sudan and my gosh my feet have really changed because there's nowhere where I'm finding it look calm so anyways let's go and watch the match see what the problem will be or not be kish my world okay I'm trying to be as discreet discreet as possible but let's see the South Sudanese playing football Wow, there's a lot of guys here, you know? Yes, my friend. Is it a football match? Yeah, it is a football match. Oh, which teams? This is uh, Rambo and Rabida. Okay, is friend, 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 first division? First division match. Ah. Yeah. It's 2 nil. It's 2 nil. Oh, they look dangerous. <laughs> this is Rainbow. It's called Rain Rainbow. Rainbow, yeah. Oh. Which team are you supporting? Which one are you supporting? Not none of them. None of them. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, come to watch. Yeah. Uh, Whoever wins uh, wins. First. Okay. Is it first half or second half? This is I think it's still because I, I had I just came. Oh, okay, you just arrived. Yeah. I think this is the second half. Oh. Just a minute. Yeah. Oh, the ball is coming for us. Yeah, man. Oh, this guy has uh, dreadlocks. I was I was told in Sudan you can't have dreadlocks. You can have it? Yeah. Oh, I think it was first half. You can, uh, you can have, have it. it. But uh, with papers. Okay. You have the paper or any document. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to apply. Yeah. Okay. So if you have the document, then they allow you. Yeah. Yeah. Of maybe a musician. Or yeah. A footballer. Oh. So for footballer, footballer is allowed. Yeah, for footballer is allowed. Okay. But for these niggas around, just this gangs, yeah. It's not allowed. Yeah. So when the police see you, they stop you. They ask you, then you show, okay, me I'm a musician or I'm a footballer. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now I understand. Yeah. With uh, any kind of a document yeah. or anything, just uh, to prove that uh, you're, you're, you're in a such category. Yeah, okay. But for me, it's okay because I thought they would uh, arrest me also. But they, if you're a foreigner, if you're uh, living if you're here, foreign, huh? yeah. Then, uh, you uh, give them very many things. Yeah, like passport, what? Passport. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But for the, the for the normal person, it's not allowed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Let's see how the second half goes. But you don't play football. No. I play, but I retired. Oh, you're retired. Yeah. Ah. I was a goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Another first division team, but. Uh, 
You have to work. Yeah. You have to, you have to give up. But do people make money from playing football here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so it can be like a career? Yeah. Yeah. You save a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, you have to join the team here. It's a lot of money. Ah. Oh. $5,000 and $6,000. Wow, that's a lot. $5,000? Yeah, $5,000, $6,000. A good team. Yeah, if you're a in a good team. team. Yeah. A good team gives you $7,000. Wow. <laughs> that's too much money. Yeah, that's too much money. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Okay guys, uh, just a simple football match, nothing much really to see there and of course uh, even filming the football match was a bit difficult. You get the stairs and the warnings here and there but that's it, South Sudan. Okay, let's try and find Mr. BMG. I've been waiting for Mr. BMG forever, he's nowhere to be seen, you know country guys this country is giving me a lot of difficulty and i don't know if i'll be able to stay here for long i mean it's been my first full day today yesterday was here only half day but uh, i'm trying to see if there's a way i can get into the villages you know but it's too damn expensive it costs around 200 plus us dollars to get into the villages to see like the Mondari people so I might just have to escape soon. Oh, I might leave earlier than expected, but let's see. Let's see if we get some hope. Anyways, this is the area where I am. As you can see. Yeah, South Sudan is really tough. Really, really tough to film. But there's so much culture. And so much history you can see around here. Look at this. So basically, these are the best shots I can get unless I get like that filming permit, which is also a problem. Yeah. This might be the, the shortest stay I will stay in a country. But let's hope that tomorrow we get to go to the Mundari tribe. If it's not possible, man, I'll just have to leave. Because even that one is a whole other process. And uh, I'm not getting any results. So I feel like I'm wasting my time. But let's see. A few more hours to decide, otherwise I'll go back to Kampala and head over to the original destination. Okay. Alright guys, top of the morning, Kish my world. Yes, now brand new day. Finally, I've linked up with uh, Mr. BMJ here. You know, you know we've been waiting for him for so long. What's up, what's up yeah. guys? Yeah, busy guy, Mr. BMJ. Mr. BMJ we, We've been nice. waiting for you for so long. For so long, sure. Yeah. Now, but, uh... You're I'm, here now. I'm here now. So yeah. the good thing is that Mr. BMG is here. Yeah. And uh, guys, as you know, so Mr. BMG is here and guys, we are driving. Actually, this is yeah. uh, city center here. The city center. The city center. And we're actually we are visiting my home. Yes, uh, yes. Mr. BMG here has uh, extended an invite to, yes. for me to go and see his uh, local place with local his wife. Place. And uh, just to see how it is. Yes. Yes. The wife even has been calling him because she's been expecting us for very long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Mr. BMT was a little bit busy, but uh, finally we are here. I was a little bit busy running yeah. some errands. Yes. But I have to come and uh, meet, kiss my world. Yes, that kiss is it. Our world. So this is the busier sides yeah. of Juba. Yeah. yeah. You can see it's very busy. Traffic. A lot of people doing businesses on the side. So, yeah. Actually so, here, yeah. like uh, it's too much the, the, the jam here, the traffic. Yeah, it's, it's too much. Too much yes. so yeah. When the uh, rush hour like this, yeah. so many cars you see, so many people. It's very busy, yeah. This but, is what even delayed me. Uh -huh. yeah. But you know it's not as bad as the uh, Kampala still, I insist. Yeah. Yeah, because at least here you can move for a bit. Yeah, you can move here. Yeah. So guys, this is Juba, man. You know, it's very difficult to film. Very difficult to film in Juba. But uh, we try as much as we can. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> hopefully nobody is going to bust us. Yeah. Mr. BMG, why do you think it's so difficult to film here? No, here? Yeah, according know, to you. In South Sudan? Yeah. It's actually, it's, 
it's not that it's difficult to fail. Yeah. It's it's uh it's just because the people they are not uh, uh they are not camera friendly. Yeah. So sometimes you film and someone will be like, oh, you're taking my my video. You're taking yeah. my uh video for what? Why, yeah. Why do you take this place? Even if you're filming a river, yeah, just why are you taking? like this. Why because are you taking the picture? I was watching a football match down there before. Yeah. And I was filming a little bit. But uh, some people told me to stop filming all these things. And then also, somebody told me it's because there's too many rebels. So uh, that's why the government is afraid, because of the rebels. Yeah, because of the rebels. Yeah. So maybe you're, you're filming for some other... Uh, like yeah, for rebel activity. Spy, yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is what the, uh, the government is thinking about. Yeah. yeah. That is why the filming is really abandoned and restricted here. Yeah. Unless you have the permit, so yes. they ask you a lot of questions. Uh, they need to know you. Yeah. So they, once they give you the permission to film, mm -hmm. you are free to do that. You can okay. uh, film with that. And problem. that permit, uh, yeah. you don't just go into an office and get it. It takes yeah. a bit of time. It takes time and also it takes a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. How much is it approximately? Like they do it for foreigner. Yeah. That's a different price. Okay. Like for people like you, you're foreigner. Yeah. Uh, you're not a South Sudanese nationality. Uh huh. They can charge you like everything will go up to four hundred dollars maybe. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. Yes. So guys, you can imagine to be allowed to film just the streets, you know, like yeah. this place where we are seeing like this. It's four hundred freaking dollars. The media authority, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can take maybe two hundred dollars from you. Yeah. And then also there's one line. They have to take something from you as a tourist. Yeah. So they have to take maybe one hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, and how long will this be the pass be for? Maybe one week. One week. Yeah. Four and two and four hundred dollars. Yeah, four hundred dollars. And it's not but even for the whole country. Also depends on the on the on the location. Yeah. And depends on your your schedules. Yeah. Like uh, how many videos you want to shoot? Yeah. Yeah. It's but even depends. even all the same, it's just the. Uh, it's just the same. It's just like the. But it stays for one month. Yeah, but I mean, you can only film for like if it's Juba, it's only for Juba. Yeah. You cannot go somewhere else and film. Yeah, for you can uh, go if they will give you for some places in Juba, but uh, when you reach, yeah. like assuming maybe the Mundare tribe, yeah. maybe you want to go to other parts in uh -huh. here in South Sudan. Yeah. They will give you from here in South Sudan. Yeah. And once you reach that place, you also consult with the security. Oh. So you tell the security you have the permit to film, yeah. and then uh, they can just access yeah. that. So man, it's not easy filming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's very very difficult. It's possible, but it's too much. It's too much of a hassle. So that's why I really want. Like, and there's so much culture. There's so much richness. So people are so active. You know, there's so much you can actually capture on film. But yeah, because of the restrictions, we can only steal some clips like we're doing right now. Yes. So inshallah, next time it will be much easier so we can show you more of South Sudan. And uh, yeah, that is it unfortunately guys. But let's enjoy what we have, the little jump that we have. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow we go to the Mundari tribe. Yeah. There is a bit in the village, so there is not really much control. And uh, the people there, they are probably used to some cameras. Yeah. So we can actually get to see the the cattle and their way of life and everything so it's gonna be different yeah but i can pretty much say you guys have seen a bit of south sudan through my lens even if it's not comprehensive yeah, yeah or <laughs> you know everything that you needed to see all right that is it that is it man so guys we are in south sudan still you know driving on the rough roads there's a lot of rough roads in south sudan my friend eh? yeah why they don't want to put uh, tarmac really don't know yeah the government is uh, lazy. <laughs> lazy yeah and yeah. they say in South Sudan there's always military trucks oh I don't want to film them then they bring me problems there's like military everywhere military everywhere military everywhere and they told me 80% 80% of the population is military yeah. and it's mostly men the women, do they join the military? Yeah, they join some. They join some, okay. Yeah. But mostly it's the men. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. Okay, so finally we came to Tamak Road for a bit. I don't know for how much longer. It's called Milgo Traders. Yeah. Do you have something like Uber here or uh, Bolt? 
Uber, no? Yeah. We don't have Uber. No Uber, no Bolt. Yeah. So it's not, you only have to take the rickshaw the if rickshaw you want to go somewhere. And now uh, some uh, private car. Yeah. Uh, for taxi. For taxi. If yeah. You, if, like if you land uh, in the airport. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get a private. This is the airport taxi. The airport taxi. Yeah. But today has not been warm like yesterday. The weather has been very good today, actually. Yeah, the weather is good. Yeah. I met somebody. I mean, he told me maybe you take care of the family. Okay. Somebody told me maybe it's because uh, it was Officer, Officer, Surato. Officer, Surato. What are they saying? That why are you filming? Oh, yeah. tell them I'm doing your interview. Problems everywhere. Yeah. South Sudan problems, eh? And now they went. They just wanted to know why we are filming. Yeah, I don't film, eh? Yeah. It's a kind of people. Yeah. Very problematic people. <laughs> I'm telling you, this country is tough. <laughs> and it's not even uh, uh, the police. It's not the police. Yeah, it's just regular people. But yeah, sometimes they are police also. Oh, sometimes they, they can be police. police. They are taking the, uh, the rickshaw. Oh, the rickshaw. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, that's South Sudan for you. Okay, let's and put the camera another away. Another place for security is there. Okay, yeah. let's hide it. Yes, guys. So we were almost being harassed again because of uh, shooting. They said, well, now I've learned a new word, Maluta Bisod. Yeah. Maluta Bisod means, why are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, they were just people in their rickshaw, just, uh, we are minding our own business. They wanted even to close the road, because they came in front of us. Yes. Yeah, to slow us down and ask us, Maluta Bisod, <laughs> why are you filming? So that is it, my friends. Yes, South police Sudan. unit down there. Oh, yeah. down there. So guys, if you don't see as much content as you'd expect from South Sudan, just understand, it's really, really hard. So we are trying our best, but unfortunately, and we, we don't have money to pay 400 uh, USD it's too much. to get, it's too much, man, it's too much, yeah. but we try and sneak here and there. But now we're going to go to BMG's house and at least there is a bit more free. All right, so we'll see when you get there. We're trying to beat also the sun. That is it. That is it. <laughs> yeah. But here is a bit nice, so maybe some people can see like how the area looks like. You said the area is for Juba, man. Yeah. For Juba, the... the oh, the this is where there. we stay, man. Oh, this is your home? Yeah. Okay. I need to park here. Okay. Yeah. We have arrived. Top of the morning. Yes, man. All Sweden. right, guys. So okay. we finally arrived to Mr. BMG's home here, and it was nice and amazing. He's here, the man himself, BMG. And man, you were supposed to introduce us to your lovely wife, also. Yeah, that is it. So here yeah, we always introduce. Yeah, okay. So that's my uh, beautiful that's, that wife. Here. Let me stand you guys, be, you guys have been watching, <laughs> but this one is not a good. Maybe we we'll become. Uh, okay, where well, it's more bright, yeah. Yeah, where well, it's, it's more bright. It's getting a bit dark, so yeah. that's why we are trying to I find where the have, light is. I actually have uh, the light. Yeah, but, but I think it's uh, yes. so far so good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So, far so, so far so good. Yeah. At least Mr. BMG is so visible. So if you complain, I will give you light. Yeah. Film. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But so far so good because so, yeah. We are introducing you to the vlog. Actually, mm -hmm. she has some uh, uh, eye. Is it eye? I don't know. Eye infection. Eye infection. Yeah. Oh. Because of the light, maybe. I yeah. don't know. Mm. So I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, it's nice. So, guys, this yeah, is uh, very Mr. Beautiful. BMG wife. Here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You can introduce yourself to the Yeah, world. I've seen yeah. you in his video, so maybe you can introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay. My name is Top of the okay, World. We are there. Okay. Sorry, now you can continue. You were saying your name is. Sony Dawa. So, Sony Dawa. Yeah. Wow, unique name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you were saying your wife to wife, Mr. Mr. BMG. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How does it feel being a uh, wife to this uh, superstar? Uh, yeah. I'm not a superstar. You know, he's Guys, known, he's I'm known not a everywhere. Star, 100, 142,000 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel being a celebrity wife? Feels good. Feels Very good. good yeah. Sometimes when you're walking in the street, people do they, they notice you and they're like, oh, I've seen you. No. <laughs> not yet. Okay. You need to go to India. You will see people will realize you. 
Yeah, and this is Mr. BMG himself here. Guys, this is me here mm. in my beautiful home. Yeah. Which, uh, sometimes I call it a ghetto because it looks like a ghetto. Yeah, but it's not yeah. a ghetto actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes in my vlogs I call it a ghetto. But yeah. so many people said, hey, Mr. BMG, please don't do that. Don't call your home a ghetto or what. Mm. But this, it is what it is. So, yeah. And we always say it like uh, one journey at a time. Yeah. So when you East watch the my videos, yeah, yeah, one journey so, at a time. So we best. make sure we we watch yeah. his videos yes. don't skip the ads yes. so help mr bmg so that grow. is it yeah that watch is the it. videos mm. don't skip the ads and, yeah uh, we'll change we'll change yeah so, so we're doing content creating yeah and, uh, so i have a question for yes. your wife here yes. okay. how do you feel when mr bmg sometimes he goes to travel for like three weeks yeah you feel you miss him <laughs> 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 or you're happy he's chasing his dream yeah it's good, yeah? Yeah. It's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yeah. you, BMG, when you go and you leave your wife for so long, how does it feel when you're away, man? No, you know, sometimes family, mm. also, like me, I travel a lot. So when I travel, I always think back about uh, family. Yeah. Because me, I have kids, not only my wife, but I have kids. Yeah. Like, uh, two kids now. Yeah. So one uh, stays with my uh, sister, mm -hmm. and then uh, the other one is here with us, but uh, she's in the other home. Okay. So. It's called, maybe in some few ma times she will come and uh, yeah, see definitely. Her. Yeah, definitely. But uh, always I will travel and sometimes, but the most importantly, I call that a challenge. Yeah, it's a yeah, challenge. It's a, a challenge. challenge. It's a huge challenge to yeah. me. And that's why I don't like take long time traveling. Yeah, so when you I see understand. more of my vlogs, I don't it's take a short, short time and yeah. I come because I'm married man. Yeah. So and I love traveling. I love to create content. So you have content. to mix time. Yeah, I have take, to mix, mix time, time for everything. Uh, give time for my whole, uh, yeah. family. Give time and for, for your my job. wife. Yes, for my job. Also. Yeah. That is so, it, man. So guys, unfortunately, it's becoming a bit dark, so we can't see a lot. But uh, we'll definitely have more info and uh, uh, questions for Mr. BMG here as we go. Tomorrow we have a long day, yeah, long so we're day gonna be sure, together yes. all the time. So make sure you watch tomorrow's video. Yeah. yeah so that is it for today, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. So guys, so, yes, uh, if you're mm. watching me, if this is your first time watching me from uh, Kish My World, please uh, check out my channel, Mr. BMG, and uh, see the content that we create. If possible, subscribe to our channel that and also support Kiss uh, uh, My Wall. Yeah. So actually, I call him Kiss Our World because yeah. this is our world. Yes. <laughs> it is. So we live one. Support always. Support my brother, and that is it. That is it. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, it's been a tough day trying to film here. You know, they've been ups and downs, but we still got something for you guys to watch. Yeah from South Sudan. South Sudan. Big up on yourself. Okay, that is it. Yo. Yeah.